Okay, my name is Rainer Joswig and here is a short demo of Macintosh Common Lisp 5.0. So what you see is a listener. Um, you can get multiple listeners here. So you just type Lisp expressions to the listener and they get executed on the fly. For example, a Lisp function applied to a number. Actually, all code you type to the Lisp listener is compiled. So, usually you open up an editor. Um, you can get um, the second window just by typing target and then you have this window. Now you can inspect it and you get a thread inspector window. So you can type to it We have a simple function enter and you see the result will be printed in the top listener which means you usually type directly to the editor and you press enter and code gets executed. So uh, for example let's do make instance window executed and you see the result is in the listener and we can just describe it so there you get a description or you can just inspect the same thing and you get your inspector for this window so now we have a window here target gets the window set of sets a variable to this window make instance button dialog item so now we have a button dialog item add subviews um, the window and the item and now we have a button here we can click on it but nothing happens so let's say this is our button set dialog item text click me so you see there's some text there set dialog item size make point um we make something like 50, 16. So now this was wrong. We have a backtrace here. It wanted something else. So we don't know what the name of this function is. Set size set view size is it so set uh, view size set view size is for this button make point um 
50, 16. That's too small. So now I just add some tool here. We have an extension which is called um, mouse copy. So this allows us to just copy the some code with the mouse. So we make this larger here. So now you see the button is larger. Set. So we don't know how to set an action. Set action. Set dialog item action function. Set dialog item action function. You see there is a um, the arguments are shown. Dialog item is B1. Add beep. So you see um, there are too many arguments there. We are calling this anonymous function here. Okay. So I guess we get some button here. So now it uh, gets a beep. Um, so if you want, you can load the interface toolkit. Go into design dialogs. So now you have a palette here. Move this object, double click, and then you see um, you can set this and you see you can resize it and you can say use dialogs and click me now. There you have it. So the cool thing with mouse copy is you can say make a window and now you just click on the parentheses and it gets copied here. If you want for example call foo, click on foo and it's added. If you want to replace this with a call to foo, just click on it and it's changed change it again or get rid of it enter does compile it you want to call it click on the name enter and now you have another window just close it or you want to inspect copy the code and now you get a window and the inspector. So we still have this one here. We have the designer. You can edit menu bars. Um, you have some other tools here. Inspectors, some extensions to load. Uh, you can set preferences and so on. So this is just um, a short idea how you interactively added code and uh, work with some of these windows here.